Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel where we talk all things photography. Today it's a break from the usual vlogs and behind the scenes videos to do a product review on the Vanguard Altafly 48T roller bag. If you're familiar with my channel, you'll have seen the unboxing probably a year ago or so. So I'm sure ever since then you have been just waiting for this full review. So here it comes. Here it is, the uh, Vanguard 48 Altafly, Altafly 48T. As with most photography products, it's got a really catchy name. Sorry about this squeaky chair, a lovely chair that we picked up off at Facebook Marketplace for free, but uh, it's squeaky. I've been using this for a year and I gave it a bit of a battering last week, dragging it around London every day. Initial impressions, it is solid. Before this, I was using a rucksack all the time, which I loved the convenience of being able to throw the kit on my back. However, you've got that weight on your back, which which is a pain in the back. So I've started using this more and more regularly. Let's start on the outside. As you can see, there's loads of little handy hooks to hook everything onto. This is super handy for like tripods or just, it becomes useful at the most random of times, at the most random of moment. It comes with an extra strap here so you can feed tripods through to hold them steady. Moving us onto this nice little hidden tripod bag where we have the little pull out bit here. You can stick your tripod in there quite a wide pouch so you can get pretty much any tripod in there and it has this nice little uh, locking system there. We've got a pouch on the side, this is maybe a little too small for a tripod but uh, could work for some sort of softbox or umbrella or anything. This is great and solid as with all the straps on this bag, they are so solid. Um, this one's not elastic so you can't really stick a tripod in the side here. You've got another strap on the side to kind of use this as a bit of a suitcase. So lots of handy, strong straps. You've also got one on the bottom here, which is great for like, I found for when you're carrying it like this, if it's really heavy, you can pick it up and just hold it close to your chest. The bottom of it is solid. The wheels are brilliant. And I've been bumping this along cobbles around the streets of London. I have no complaints at all. It's been brilliant. Moving inside the bag, you've got these two zips on the front, which go right through. I find this is really good for notebooks and things. Move into here. This is really handy, this part. You've got loads of different pouches, hard drive shaped pouches for maybe one or two hard drives there. I also keep a little uh, tablet for like retouching and stuff in there, keep it handy. You've also got a zipper here. I keep my batteries in there. And then if you are on location, you've got two pouches for your memory cards, one green, one red. So great, you've got all your bits there. Moving inside the bag, you've got this little safety strap here, which has saved my neck a couple of times, I won't lie. I always use those because if it's not, it flops open. You've got your laptop pouch in there, so that holds that. And also if you just want access to your laptop and not the rest of your stuff, you can hold the the strap will hold that open and you can just reach inside and pull your laptop out without having to open up your whole bag. So we've got these two straps here and we've got our netting. A lot of bags have that now, I think. When you get the bag, it comes with loads of extra inserts, enough to probably do two different setups so you can swap the whole thing in and out, I guess, if you want. Um, I keep a couple of lenses, I usually keep the Keep the 70 to 200 there or in the middle. I normally have the 50 mil on this camera here and it sits here nice. Um, second body, uh, 24 to 70. I'm kind of trying to distribute the weight evenly so it's less likely to fall over. Yeah, you get loads of different straps, things for safety, make sure everything doesn't, everything's held in there tight. You can also, there's Velcro in here, pull this whole thing out and use it as a suitcase if you're going on a little day trip or visiting family up north like I do a lot of the time. Banging. I never really, I don't do that too much. So some of the reservations that I had on this bag when I first got it was the strength of the zip. However, on the zips there, you've got a little bit for your padlock if you need it. You've also got these, uh, these little bits of string uh, with the big orange bit, so it's easy to grab them. I was, apprehensive about whether these would be strong enough but they absolutely are i've had no troubles nothing has snapped 
Um, actually, the straps and handles on this bag have been so super solid and impressive, and I am not light on gear at all. I owe it in my head with anything. If it breaks, then it wasn't designed strong enough. It's never my fault that it breaks, um, which probably isn't the right attitude, but that's what I go with. And this has just been super solid. Everything is so solid. The straps, the handles, the wheels, the base. Um, I This fell over like three or four times yesterday alone with two laptops in the case and cameras. It toppled forwards because I had loaded stuff on top of it as well. Um, everything was totally fine and I had no worries as I watched it slowly topple over onto the road. Um, knowing that everything was fine and safe in here. It's called the Alta Fly 48T, so it kind of in suggests that you can fly with it. Most of the time I usually fly with either British Airways or EasyJet. EasyJet most of the time, going from London up to Inverness to visit family. Uh, sometimes Ryanair, you would never get this on a Ryanair flight as hand luggage, I seriously doubt it, unless you had a kind of slack crew, but even then I don't think it would fit in there overhead bits. I've never had any trouble on EasyJet. Obviously, British Airways, you've got loads of room. I've never been checked for before getting on a flight and it's, it always fits in the overhead luggage. There we go. That is my quick and thorough review of the 48T. You can pick these up for in the region of 200 pounds. Some places you might find it a little bit cheaper, a little more expensive. I've put some links to the cheapest prices I could find in the description below. So check those out if you are interested. Thanks for watching guys. I've been meaning to do this for a long time and I can't complain at all. This is a brilliant solid bag which I use almost every time I've got a, a shoot on. I've also been using the 55T which has four wheels on the bottom and it also has rucksack straps. I flip flop between which two are my favourite. I'll do a full review of that one and maybe give one of them away, my least favourite one. So be sure to subscribe and uh, be the first to know about when that competition comes up. Otherwise, thanks for watching guys and I will see you on the next one.